Hello, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to TLC. Oh, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We hope you're still here. We're watching our numbers just drop, mysteriously drop on YouTube. How crazy is that? Chuck couldn't even find our live stream last night. And he was right here in the house with me. It took a while for them to allow him to find it. Ooh, you guys, sneaky stuff afoot. We're so glad you're here with us and we hope that you'll be able to find us every day if you want to because until the Lord takes us off of here we are here every day live streaming every Monday night zooming every Sunday sharing messages whenever Father has them so even if you're not getting notifications we just want you to know we are still here and still going so please check with us I remember somebody recently said they couldn't even find the channel. So it's a battle. We're in a war. Okay, we are reading this this afternoon out of the book of Revelation. We are actually in chapter 10. So, guys ready? Here we go. Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven wrapped in a cloud with a rainbow over his head, and his face was like the sun, and his legs like pillars of fire. He had a little scroll open in his hand, and he set his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and called out with a loud voice like a roaring lion. When he had called out, the seven thunders sounded, and when the seven thunders had sounded, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from heaven saying, Seal up what the seven thunders have said, and do not write it down. And the angel whom I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and what is in it, and the earth and what is in it, and the sea and what is in it, that there would be no more delay, but that in the days of the trumpets, called to be sounded by the seventh angel, the mystery of God would be fulfilled just as he announced to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice that I had heard from heaven spoke to me again, saying, Go take the scroll that is open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and told him to give me the little scroll, and he said to me, Take and eat it. It will make your stomach bitter but in your mouth it will be sweet as honey. And I took the little scroll from the hand of the angel and ate it. It was sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I had eaten it, my stomach was made bitter. And I was told, you must again prophesy about many peoples and nations and languages and kings. This war we're in here on this earth is not with man. It's against, it's, a, it's about the rulers of principalities and wickedness and spiritual wickedness and all of those things that's talked about in the book of uh, Ephesians in the sixth chapter. The enemy doesn't want you to speak. He doesn't want us to speak. He wants us to be quiet and go away. You guys, just reading through the book of Revelation, there's so much in it that we look at and go, Father God, we're overwhelmed by the wonders of who you are. Everything about you that you just you're beyond our comprehension in so many ways, and that's perfect. Because our minds are finite, and you are infinite. 
So, Father, whatever it is you have for us this day to know or see or say or hear or do, may all of our praise that you are so worthy of rise up to your throne and be that sweet-smelling savor you speak of in Scripture. And as we things, see things coming about in the days ahead, and even some of the things that some of us may face this day, may we never forget that no matter how much the enemy comes to try to shut us down, our Father God has all of the strength and all of the ability to do whatever you choose to do to get your words out there, to get your agenda completed, everything you have spoken, Father. You said none of it will return void. So, Father, we thank you and praise you that even though we are finite little beings down here, just the dust of the earth that you have so graciously scooped up and poured your Holy Spirit into as we follow you. We thank you for the ways that you use us. Father God, we ask you to open doors that the enemy has shut and to shut the ones that he has opened. We pray over all of your people. Have your way this day, Lord. Have your way in all things. You are the Lord God Almighty and you are worthy. We bless your name, Father, this day in the name of our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the Word of God, faithful and true. Amen. I don't know if you all remember it, but I shared in one of the messages Father gave me a while back. He has angels that are bigger than the earth, bigger than the whole earth. Our God is amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm going to play some music now. May the Lord bless you always as you follow him each day in the name of our Savior. We pray over you guys. We love you. We pray for you daily. See you tomorrow, Lord willing. Bye for now. See the little baby Jesus asleep in a manger. Animals and angels and shepherds all around with a mommy and her daddy and heavenly father watching, honoring the son who was born, born to wear a crown. See the star that's brightly shining, it fills up the night sky. Could it be the world knows that God has sent His Son? Oh, I wonder what He'll be like when I finally see Him. Wonder if He'll know that I know. He's the Holy One And there are silent nights And holy nights He's on earth to men goodwill There are glorious That must be sung Cause the baby Jesus came to do His Father's will He ruled in the manger He's ruling still
to do his father's will. He ruled in the manger. He's ruling still. See the little baby Jesus asleep in a manger. Animals and angels and shepherds all around with a mommy and a daddy and heavenly father watching honoring a son who was born born to wear a crown they're honoring the son who was born born to wear